Iblis feels that the position Allah has given to this creation, he should have had that position. And what he had given Adam in the open statement was that he's going to make him his Khalifa, which is that he's going to give him the reins of the earth. Which would mean that from now until whenever Allah decides, this thing, this creature is going to become the one that has the greatest influence on the earth. And as we know today, we have got the greatest influence. Um, jinns have got an influence on this earth, but they're nowhere near us in terms of their influence. We are a lot more smarter and intelligent than them, though they are a lot more faster than us in terms of traveling. They have longer lives than us. They're invisible, whereas we are visible. But in overall, we score a lot better than them. Now, what was going on in Greece is that he has made so much effort over this time. And suddenly he sees that Adam salam, is the one that gets everything or a lot of things he's got without him even making an effort. It's just like Allah's just gifted him. Now this is when jealousy really comes into play a lot. When a, when a person sees that, you know what? This guy suddenly just comes up and he, he's just suddenly got all this, why? You know, one of the ayats of the Quran says, you know, Yahabu liman yasha. Allah can gift to whoever he wants. Or Ya Rahamu Mayyash, Allah can have His mercy on whoever He wants. So Ya Ghafiru Limayyash, Allah can forgive whoever He wants. So when Allah has said this, who are you, Iblis, to try and tell God who is greater than who? Allah Azza wa Jal then says, Ya Iblis, O Iblis, Malak, what's wrong with you? Allah Tasjuda, Id Amartuk, what's wrong with you that when I ordered you, when I ordered you to bow down, you didn't bow down. Now here in each of the situations, he gives his reply and his reply is quite rude to say the least. Iblis not only gave reasoning to why he, did, why he thought he was greater, but he first asked Allah for respite and he asked Allah for some extra time. He says, لَإِنْ أَخَرْتَنِ إِلَىٰ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ Would you allow me, O oh God, to live till the day of judgment. Now, of course, God or Allah Azza wa Jal, He knew what His intention was. So Iblis first sought from Allah, give me time till the day of judgment. Allah said, okay, ila yawmi, until the day that they are resurrected or until the day of judgment, I've given you this time to live. So now that Iblis got this word from God, because he knows that Allah will not go against his word. Now that he got this word from Allah, he then turns around in a rude manner and he says to Allah, he says several things. One of the things he says that, illa He says, I am going to lead. I'm going to be the leader of taking all of his progeny, his children, all of Adam's children to the fire. He says, I'm going to come from in front of them. I'm going to come from behind them. I'm going to come from their right side. I'm going to come from their left side. You're not going to find most of them grateful to you. I am going to lead his progeny towards hellfire.